Hey guys, welcome to motorrides.com. My name is Amit Changani and this car right here is something that I really have uh, some very fond memories with. I took the Q5 about a couple of years back for a 2500 km round trip uh, to South India and oh boy, what a trip it was. Uh with those fond memories in my mind, I came uh, to drive this car uh, very intently and uh, we have driven it for about 100 km now and uh, I would say that this doesn't disappoint at all. So Let's get started with the specs first. Uh, this car here is powered by a 2 litre diesel and uh, the power on tap is 190 HP with uh, 400 Nm of torque. The transmission is taken care of by uh, a 7 speed S Tronic transmission which is uh, fast and smooth and while it has always been fast, it's much smoother than the previous version and that's a change that we have noticed this time around. Talking of the numbers again, the 0 to 100 sprint comes in 7.9 seconds and the top speed is 218 km uh, per hour. But those specs don't make a car. What makes a car really special is how it drives, the features and a lot of other things. So before we get going with uh, the nitty gritties of this car, we would want to tell you that the drive from Kishangarh airport to Pushkar, although it took us through some really scenic valleys, we could not find a spot which was wide enough for us to shoot and thanks to the Quattro and the good ground clearance that the Audi Q5 has, we were able to take it through some treacherous rail and now we are here in a jungle. Uh, to be able to shoot. So obviously having a proper SUV at your disposal helps you take it to places which a normal sedan cannot go. So in that sense the Quattro all-wheel drive really works and we have crossed a couple of dunes and soft sand and some really rocky surfaces and this car did not have any problem whatsoever. Coming to the design, the new Audi Q5 gets a new single frame grille, the headlights are different, the size of the car has changed now, it's slightly bigger, it's taller, it's wider and overall a little more spacious. The wheelbase has also been increased slightly on the sides. The wheels are now 18 inches and although they look smart, it could have done with uh, a bit more premium wheels. Uh, although the 18 inches with the 60 profile tires really help the ride quality quite a bit and uh, the car really rides very well. A few details that you'd want to notice uh, are these satin finish uh, inserts at the bottom of the doors and what Audi particularly likes to mention is this wrap around shoulder line which adds a sense of smartness and some muscle to the side of the car. To highlight the off-roading character of the car, you have these flared wheel arches with plastic undercladding, which makes the go-anywhere capability of the Audi Q5 quite evident. The headlamps here are all LEDs with the cornering lights as well as LED DRLs and they are right up there in terms of illumination. At the rear, the tail lights are all LED and the car now gets a boot lid which is powered, so that's a great thing to have. You just have to press a button to bring it down again. Another important thing is that the loading lip is not too high so it's very easy to put stuff in or take it out. So from a convenience perspective that's a good thing. There is plenty of space here, about 550 litres of uh, boot storage as Audi tells us. And if you flip open this panel you'll see a space saver. So obviously this is not going to take you too far but in case of emergency this is always something which is absolutely required in Indian conditions. You also can use this lever here to bring the front seats down. As you can see the front seats are 40-20-40 split and it's pretty convenient for you to flip the seats down and create some additional storage as required at, in a very convenient manner. So overall in terms of design although the Audi Q5 has grown in size the resemblance to the previous version is uh, quite uncanny and uh, it's, it's quite identifiable as an Audi Q5 even now although it's now a bit more angular, a bit more characterful and has a bit more brawn. Overall uh, it looks smart, it looks uh, quite muscular but it doesn't shout out from the rooftop that I am an SUV and in that sense it's a very good car which you can take off the road and uh, use for your family as well. Now, uh, after having discussed the things outside, we get inside and uh, the state of affairs inside is copybook Audi with uh, the quality standards right up there. Although this cabin is uh, not very flashy, it's quite minimalistic and the controls are uh, very simple. The quality of the materials is uh, right there, uh, the dashboard, these wood inserts and the way it's all been put together is absolutely fantastic. Now, one new thing that Audi has introduced here is uh, these buttons for the AC and it's uh, a little different from what you find on other Audis so that's uh, something new you get to select from as many as five drive modes and you can select them uh, from here and we are going to talk about these modes uh, in detail in a bit 
Uh, there's a new three spoke steering right here which feels absolutely fantastic to hold. It's nice and chunky, small, not too big, feels uh, very good to the hand. And of course you have uh, the Audi virtual cockpit uh, in the instrument console which can be customized to your requirements. You may either want to see uh, the taco, the speedo and uh, the regular uh, instrument console so to say or or make it show navigation if uh, you so wish. This is a 12.5 inch uh, high quality uh, screen and uh, it looks absolutely amazing and uh, this is something which Audi has been adopting in most of its cars now and is something which is ahead of the game in terms of instrument consoles as compared to its competitors. Apart from this screen you also get a freestanding 8.3 inch screen on the dashboard and as you can see this looks rather nice although it would have uh, really been great had it been folding it adds a bit of drama to the dashboard but uh, we are not complaining as it looks rather nice. Apart from these two elements you also get a trackpad uh, which you can use to draw any characters uh, you can use any of these eight buttons to assign them to uh, any customized function you want like uh, radio stations or uh, navigation so these buttons can be totally customized apart from that you also get controls for hill descent and the car also comes with hill hold control so pretty loaded in terms of features apart from that if you look at space under the armrest it's quite spacious here there are two USB ports as you can see there is an aux in you, you also get wireless charging here apart from that the phone box feature that Audi has been promoting quite a bit uses the antenna to enhance the signal of your uh, cell phone and uh, helps you uh, talk over the phone in a clearer manner if the connection is not very strong the controls on uh, the steering wheel are pretty intuitive and uh, you won't have any problems learning uh, how to use them so that's a great thing to have uh, up front you have a two zone climate control and you have another temperature control at the rear which makes it three zone climate control uh, unit and that's power with class you can shut the screen off from here if you so wish and you also have this nice small space here to put your wallet or small cell phone in addition to this power socket which also has a cigarette lighter all these things apart one thing that appeals to us Indians quite a lot is the sunroof and this one comes with a panoramic unit so that should delight a lot of people who are willing to buy the new Audi Q5 this is supposed to be a family car and uh, this massive sunroof really helps it position itself as a premium offering and would attract a lot of uh, buyers because it really is a huge sunroof and we quite like it now from a comfort perspective the seats are uh, very comfortable as they always are in Audis and uh, uh, there is a decent amount of bolstering here so when you're driving fast it provides ample support although it's not overly sporty and feels comfortable without uh, being too overly squeezy so very nice seats very comfortable something that we really appreciate uh, in the doors you have a lot of space you can put a big one liter bottle without any problem with some space to spare so that's also something that we Indians really care a lot for apart from that the audio system uh, is very good and the sound quality from the speakers is right there there is nothing to complain about and uh, and right from the low notes to the higher ones right up to the highest volume the sound doesn't distort and the quality of the sound is something that we really give a thumbs up to now talking of seat comfort the driver seat comes with electric adjustment but so is not the case with the front passenger seat and that is something we think is an omission for a car this class uh, a car uh, which is expected to be launched at a uh, little more than 50 lakh rupees should have both the front seats electrically adjustable and uh, we would want Audi to have that bit included as a standard feature. Apart from that you also get a two-way memory function for the front driver's seat and uh, that's good to have. The key on the new Audi Q5 is also new and uh, there's a very interesting feature that is associated with this one. So this one remembers the last setting that you left the car at and it can remember as many as five settings for the driver. It can uh, remember the position of the rear view mirror. It can remember your seat settings. It remembers the AC temperature uh, for you. It also remembers uh, the source that you are playing your music from. And finally it would also remember the drive mode that you were driving in. So if you shut your car and uh, come back again, uh, 
this key would ensure that the car remembers these five settings for you and put everything just the way you left it so that's a great feature to have apart from that the 8.3 inch screen is uh, apple carplay and android auto compliant it comes with navigation as you can see so in terms of infotainment there is nothing to complain about it's a uh, a pretty uh, well sorted uh, setup the infotainment system also comes with the uh, 10 gb onboard memory to store your music files and that's a great feature to have if you want to play your own music rather than streaming it from uh, an app the number of buttons and the controls have been minimized to make sure that uh, there is more space and you also don't have to fiddle around too much with too much buttons so uh, that really helps the intuitiveness of the whole system the trackpad really works and uh, The drive selector now comes in yacht inspired kind of a lever which is really nice to hold is covered in leather and feels very very premium. So that was the story up front and now we'll move to the back of the car to see how comfortable or uncomfortable the things are there. Let's go there. So back here the leg space is pretty good there is no complaints. Uh, you get your own uh, AC controls, you get a power socket here and you get plenty of headroom as well. Although this big transmission tunnel would make sure that you cannot seat three in comfort for long journeys, the seats here can be moved four and aft like so, and they can also be reclined to a certain degree. So the back seat comfort is fantastic. You can adjust the seats according to your requirements, and there is ample space here for two people to drive in comfort for very long journeys as well. Although a third person here would be quite a squeeze. The door panels have a lot of space. just like up front you can store a very big bottle here without any problem and in addition you also get these blinds so during those sunny days uh, you can shield yourself from harsh sun without any problem apart from that the central armrest is quite wide and that really makes it uh, very comfortable it also comes with the uh, two cup holders although we think that the size is slightly small than ideal and if you are going to have a big sized cup these two slots may not be able to accommodate that we have already told you about the boot uh, when we were talking about the design and we went backwards so it's a 550 liter boot which is pretty spacious and uh, shouldn't leave you with anything to complain about if you're going out with your family for a very long holiday as well no complaints in terms of uh, the comfort and the space and the overall uh, feel good factor inside uh, the cabin so overall this is a very spacious car very good for families and a very practical very usable kind of an environment very airy and uh, nothing to complain about from a practicality perspective now we have already talked about the specs of the car with you and we know that you would have wanted us to talk about the car while driving it but unfortunately uh, we are short on time and there was a very limited time that we had with the car so it took us some time to understand the car drive it rather than you know talking about it and now the light is dipping so we'll talk about the performance of the car right here and uh, the news is very very positive the 2 liter diesel has more power it's smoother there is a lot of uh, grunt there is a lot of pull even at the lower end of the rev range it starts pulling from as low as 1200 to 1300 rpm and it keeps uh, increasing its pulling power very progressively there is no pronounced kick although uh, there is sufficient power there is sufficient torque when you put the pedal down there is sufficient torque for you to overtake in any gear so in that sense this is a very capable 2 uh, liter diesel uh, engine which is smooth as well as efficient as well as pretty powerful and torquey it has uh, all the qualities of what a good diesel engine for the indian conditions should be refined smooth paired with a 7 speed astronic transmission the gear shifts are pretty smooth they are pretty quick and it comes with uh, five uh, drive modes to select from and we are going to show you all of them so you can uh, choose from these five driving modes you have off road you have comfort you have auto dynamic and individual so the off road mode essentially uh, reduces the stiffness on the steering makes it very light uh reduces the throttle response to help the car off road the all wheel drive uh, also adapts itself to find traction in uh, low traction conditions in comfort mode the steering is still light uh, the transmission is less aggressive the active dampers uh, as uh, we probably not mentioned that this car comes with active dampers so the suspension can uh, be stiffened or uh, slightly loosened on the go then you have the auto mode uh, which tries to control uh, parameters such as the transmission's uh, speed and uh, the steering stiffness as well as uh, the suspension and a lot of other parameters based on the road conditions and your driving style so it tries to adapt everything all by itself we tried it and we think that it's always better to choose uh, 
a mode based on the conditions that you're driving in rather than choosing an auto mode because uh, there is a bit of a delay and it doesn't work as well as you would expect it to dynamic again is uh, totally uh, self explanatory it is uh, for the times that you want to drive really fast the steering gets uh, stiffer although we think that it could have done with a bit more uh, weight uh, in dynamic mode it feels slightly on the lighter side the suspension gets stiff and in dynamic mode the car feels very capable although this is not an out and out sporty uh, car so although the line that it maintains and the precision of the steering wheel and uh, the kind of feel that it gives when you're carving corners is is pretty positive uh, there is very minimal uh, body roll this is not an out and out sporty car and uh, that really shows uh, even in the dynamic mode this is more of a family oriented uh, comfort oriented kind of a car unless you are an out and out driving enthusiast this car with all its driving mode should suit all the practical needs of someone who wants a premium suv to drive around with his family of every 3 quattro cars sold one is an audi q5 and a car really has to be very very good to do those numbers this one is a sales champion for audi and there is a very good reason we have driven this car in the previous uh, generation also and we were floored by it and nothing has changed with this one in fact the things have only improved with time although this one has competition in india it has the mercedes glc as its competition the bmw x3 the new one is coming in you have the discovery sport but taking all things in account we really think that from a practicality perspective from uh, an overall usability perspective and uh, from a very indian kind of a perspective this one checks all the right boxes we are going to compare it with its rivals very soon but from a stand alone perspective we really think that this is a very very good product and if you are looking for a premium suv in this segment it gets a big thumbs up from us on that note this is amit changani signing off if you like the video do share it and subscribe to our channel and as always rev hard rev free